Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, I'm going to show you um, two exercises. Um, the first one is um, part of this <laughs> because I don't know how to model the whole thing, but, but I'm going to show you how to, how to create um, part of this this um, organic shape uh, stairs. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Another one I'm going to talk about is this so array generic model vertically. So let's start first. I'm going to create a project. And so we're going to use model in place mass. So first, create a spline through points. So this will be the uh, shape of the 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 path of the st stairs. So let's go to 3D view and maybe just move this up to roughly level one, which is four meter high, and also right. Uh, increase the height of this point and yep that's it so maybe i'll just make make okay so that's the path so next you need to place a point draw on face place it onto this reference line and then we need to create a profile okay profile so i'm going to use a reference line uh, line draw a word plan set word plan pick this point so now uh, I will use a straight line for the the uh, the sides, and let me just trim. And for the top, I'm going to use spline. Okay, so I'll just make it uh, something like this. Interesting. Uh, and don't forget to make it reference line. And if you wanted to change the shape, you can tab select this, and you can just do this okay so maybe i'll just i think that's it and then select all the reference line together with the point cc copy select the point pick new holes place on here so now we can create a, a mass okay so this is it and also you can drag you can you can move the this move this point if you want to and okay oh control z be careful okay so that's it and you can still you can uh, adjust the shape so for example i want this one to rotate a little bit yeah that's better and and maybe uh maybe uh try to change the shape of this uh, reference line so Tab, tab, oh, sorry, it's a little bit hard to find that reference line. Yep, that's it. So, for example, I want this one to go the other way around. Okay, so this is it, and then we can finish this mess. Now, go to one of the elevations. I'm going to select this level, array it up to make it uh, easier. I'll just make it 200 and uh, 20 okay so now we have all these levels so we can go select the mass and create a mass floor okay so shift select all the levels check the box and click ok so now we can go to 3d view so now uh, these are the level oh sorry these are the mass floor so you will see uh it's quite nice um, organic shape and if you want to you can always uh, change the change the mass and all these lines will change accordingly so I'll show you and I think this should be okay on group so maybe I'll change this one okay so go this way go up a little bit more finish see Okay, so now we have all this uh, uh, mass floor. We can create a f create a floor 
use floor by face. So, and also I'm going to create a new level, which is 200. And OK, and OK. Select all the mass floor, create floors. And now this thickness. OK, so if we go to master size, uh, maybe VV, sorry, maybe mass uncheck. OK, so now this is it. So this is a, a quite um, e easy way to create something like this, but because uh, they are individual. OK, so they're uh, not stairs, but at least it's it's I think it's quite a good idea to create something quite interesting. I think this can be also used. So imagine you have, you know, trying to create some topography and I think you can use this one. OK, so that's that's it. Uh, first uh, first exercise part of part of this. OK, so and the second exercise generic model vertically. So when I first, uh, let me just, um, actually, let me just uh, delete everything here. Uh, maybe just create a new, let's just do a new project. OK, so OK, so um, let's first model a generic model, um, model in place. And I'm going to use extrusion and finish. So let's go to 3D view. And OK, so this is a generic model, model in place. OK, so with uh, extrusion and modeled onto the ground floor level. So uh, first, let's go to floor plan. So you will see it's freely. You can move it anywhere in any direction. And also, you can array it in any direction. Okay. So let's control Z. Now go to elevation. So because this is um, this general model is placed onto onto the ground floor. So if if you edit in place, you will see this is the board plan. So um, you you won't be able to move it up or down. It's actually I'll just show you an example. So just like exactly the same, if we model a wall, so go to floor plan, you won't be able to move it up or down. So this is how Revit works. So you control the base constraint, top constraint, and uh, an offset to control the level, the height. Okay. Exactly the same. So this general model, you won't be able to move it up or down. And what you um, can do is you need to just go model in here and adjust. You need to adjust the so these two controls. So this is zero from ground floor. So this is zero. So this is two. So this is the level of this one. So this is how Revit work. You normally Revit work, but sometimes we just don't really want to, you know. <laughs> what's the easiest way to, you know, to try to if I if I want to, to array this up? So I'll show you. So first, uh, so this is the easiest easiest way. Edit model in place. Just here. So you will see this more. Uh, currently, it's a uh, work plan level ground floor. So if you click on this little thing, it become not associated. So which means now it's like it's 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 just floating there. And so once you finish this one and you can move it up or down and array it. OK, so this is it. Um, and another method is so instead of model it in floor plan with the uh, using the ground floor level as the work plan so you can model this so in elevation instead so let me just go to so for example south 
uh, elevation. So model in place. Let's create another generic model. And extrusion. Pick a plan. So maybe I'll just pick this more. And something like this. Finish. And look okay, at finish. So now if I go to 3D view, and maybe I'll just make it a box instead. Okay, so now just like um, when this box is uh, placed onto the ground floor, so we can move it around but not vertically. Same, this box is placed onto this wall, it can be moved around on this wall, but we won't. So if I go to left and try to move it, you will see ah, we can't move it because it's being placed onto this level. So uh, norm usually, uh, normally, uh, we need to adjust these two offset. Okay, two. So for example, uh, you can increase. So add one meter to this. Oh, sorry, that's ten meter. And what add one meter to this? Okay, so this is how. Uh, we move this without uh, dissociate the word plan. And of course, uh, if you if you click on this one, and then this uh, this model is no longer associated to this face, you can move it freely. Okay, so okay, so that oh hell, oh, I'm yeah. So <laughs> so this one. So let me just go back. And once again, so you can, uh, after you dissociate the work plan, so you can still use edit work plan and pick the wall. So go back there. Okay. So now it, it, it's, it's linked onto this face again. You, you won't be able to move it this direction. But because we, are, uh, we want to move, uh, array it vertically, so we can now do it okay so because uh, it's on the wall and we can do it vertically now so that's um, pretty much it and also uh, it will be different if you create a family so let's try generic generic model uh, generic model where's my generic model uh, here so, for example, I'll just quickly create an, a model, okay? And so this is a model. So let's load this into the project. I'll place it here. So now go to elevation. So let's see. So see, this is different. If it's a mod, it's a family. If it's a family you can move it uh, vertically so it, it will change the here oh, actually both oh, interesting and let's try array yeah works so I think this is another way to do it if you want to have a model uh, array vertically um, that's it for today uh, if you have any questions please Please go go here. Okay, so just copy uh, copy your image. I'll paste your image here, and uh, you can ask questions as well. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, I'm still working on my essay, uh, so I'll be slow these uh, few days. Anyway, thank you and. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.